In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. We welcome you back with us once again in a very special episode of Ten Strings where we look at the beauty of St. Mary and how she resembles many things, many symbols from the Old Testament and the New Testament. We see her being chosen to be very special and chosen to be praised by the heavenly and the earthly because she really truly deserved this honor. Today's episode will be talking about Saint Mary the spiritual table. Saint Mary the spiritual table. This is a bit different symbol of the other symbols, different than the other, the other symbols where we talk about St. Mary being the tabernacle or St. Mary being the gold lampstand. Lamp Today we'll be talking about St. Mary, the spiritual table. We look at the Saturday, the Otukeya, and we see that it says, Hail to the full of grace, the spiritual table, which gives life to all who eats from her. Hail to St. Mary, the Mother of God. Hail to the full of grace, the spiritual table, which gives life to all who eat from it. Beautiful, beautiful words. We see that this spiritual table carries the bread of life. And this is why during communion we sing the beautiful hymn of the oik, the bread of life. And in the oik, when we say the bread of life, which is Jesus Christ, we resemble St. Mary as being the spiritual table that carries this bread of life. In the Old Testament, when the Jews were fleeing from Egypt to go to the Promised Land, God gave them something very special that kept them alive throughout the years in the wilderness. Do you remember what it is? The manna from heaven. God gave the people the food from heaven to keep them alive. And God made sure that He would provide their food in the desert. We see that when the person is stranded and is in the desert, which resembles Satan, and resembles, you know, when our Lord Jesus Christ was tempted, he was on a mountain. And a person being stranded with no food, this is the exact time that God intervenes and makes make sure that this person will have the bread of life, the bread that will keep them alive. And Saint Mary is the spiritual table that carries the bread of life. The bread of life which was set upon the table, the spiritual table, which is Saint Mary, is Jesus Christ himself. The bread of life that Jesus Christ gave us is his true body and blood. We see that St. Mary deserved to carry the true bread of life. She carried the bread of life, the true food that is given for people to prevent them from dying. This is the food that is given to us to make sure that if we are starving, we will be replenished and nourished, nurtured and nourished by this 
bread of life. So, this bread of life that is given to us through St. Mary, which is the table, and the bread is set upon it, we see that God gave Himself, and everyone that eats from Him, is given for salvation. St. Mary is said to be the spiritual table, and just like the, the, the altar holds the bread of life on it, St. Mary is just like that altar. An altar that has the Lord and Savior, the bread that is given to every fallen person to bring them back to life. This is the bread that was given to the hungry Israelites in the desert. And this is the same bread that is given to us in the New Testament through St. Mary. is given to us so that we may not die. This is the bread of life which is set upon the spiritual table, which is St. Mary. She deserved to be an altar for God. She deserved to be that table which sat upon, which our Lord Jesus Christ sat upon. She deserved to be called the spiritual table because she is indeed an altar to God. She is indeed holy and deserved to carry God in her. We see just the same way that the charcoal may be mingled with the fire and we say that nothing hurts the charcoal yet it is mingled with the, with the fire in it. This is the same thing that happened in the, in the incarnation of our Lord and the setting of God, the Son of God, upon this spiritual table. St. Mary carried the Son of God in her, which is in body, and at the same time she carried the divinity, which is the, the God himself. St. Mary carried the charcoal and the fire lighting the charcoal and she was not hurt. It is easy for a woman to carry a baby, but it's not easy for a woman to be carrying God Himself. It is easy for us to live in the flesh, but it's not easy for us to live in God. It is easy for us to be like any other table that God but God will not be set upon it is easy for us to be like any table but it's not easy to be an altar for God the only time that this becomes easy for us to be an altar for God and a, and a spiritual table, just like Saint Mary, is when we sacrifice, when when we consecrate ourselves for God. We see that our altars and our churches are consecrated for the sacrifice. So therefore, we cannot just set a meal on this altar and eat, because it's consecrated for God. And Saint Mary was consecrated for God also, and this is the reason why she became the spiritual table upon which God Himself incarnate, upon which is set the food of life, upon which God Himself is dwelling. My dear friend, I'd like to ask you a question before I let you go. If we can consecrate ourselves for God, can you consecrate yourself for God so that it would be easy for God to dwell in you, both the charcoal and the fire in it, 
so that you may carry the bread of life in you, so that you may be a consecrated altar for God, just like St. Mary was. May God bless you and give us the strength and ability to be a consecrated altar for God, and glory be to God forever and ever. Amen.